Hi gang, this is John Newton aka Snap on John 100. I've just got a few ideas for last minute stocking stuffers. A flint and steel kits, large and small, and what they consist of, the small one has a, a small uh, high carbon steel that is comes in your choice of designs. This one happens to be a wolf, a piece of chert or flint, and then some jute and um, cotton rope that's got the ends burned so that it'll catch a spark. And the larger ones has pretty much the same thing except for it also has a Fresnel lens in it, in the bottom of it, and it also allows the use of the larger striker, uh, steel flint striker that I carry um, that won't fit in the smaller container. So you can either get the smaller, you can get any, any um, of the flint strikers in this bigger container. Uh, because you got more space plus it'll have a Fresnel lens in it or you can get the uh, the larger one won't fit in the smaller case so if you want the larger one you got to take the you have to get the bigger size let me just show you how they work it's really been damp here lately so hopefully I can find some really dry this is sage grass okay so I made a tender nest out of sage grass and um, a little bit of scrapings from the outer bark of a cedar tree so I've got that right there it's where I'm gonna put my little coal okay we get our piece of chert or flint we try to find a good sharp edge and we put our charred cotton rope on it and we strike down with it. See my right there. Oh, there we got it. Put that right in the center of that bundle. There we go, and we got fired. So I'll show you the different patterns that we have available. So when you order, you specify the design that you'd like. This is the large um, C striker. It's a rattlesnake, which is, stand, is is patterned after the sea. Here's a horse's head, a claw, a bison, 
There's a wolf. Here's a dragon. Uh, and here's an eagle feather. Here's just a circular pattern. And here's an arrowhead. And lastly, is a trout. So you can pick any, any one of those patterns when you order. And you can get a large or small kit. Um, the large one does have a Fresnel lens that comes with it inside the can container. Some jute twine, a piece of flint, and a little bit of charred cloth and also a piece of um, cotton rope that's got the ends that are charred so you can um, put that on the edge of your steel and, and catch a spark with it. Which I'll show you how that works. All right. One strike, and you can see it smoking. There you go. So that's how that's how easy it is to use this cotton rope that's got the ends charred. And you just put it back in the tin, and the lack of oxygen snuffs it back out. See, it's still smoking in there. And when you put the lid on it, it'll snuff it out. So it'll go out on its own. But these make a great stocking stuffer. Um, especially since you can kind of customize your own kit by picking the design that you'd like. I hope you guys have a wonderful and Merry Christmas. My website is www.wildernessselfreliance.com and I will be also showing you the fatwood and the um, scrapers that I have available also. The two sizes of flint and steel kits, the small one is $24.95 and the large one is $29.95. The fire battens Range in price all the way from five ten for a piece of fat wood, super premium fat wood uh, on a string. You got your choice of a carbide scraper or a tool steel st scraper from firesteel.com. And you've got a choice of four different sizes of ferro rods. Um, half inch by six, half inch by three, um, all the way down to... I think it's five sixteenths, and the prices range from just a piece of fatwood on the string is five ten all the way up to a carbide scraper and a half inch um, fire steel is forty three twenty five so it's in in either the range ranges from that uh, anywhere in between depending on what you choose. Let me show you how easy this is to start a fire with this here's how easy it is. Just take your piece of fat wood and a scraper. You can use your knife. You can use anything that's got a 90 degree spine. And just scrape a pile of fat wood dust. Now I got a pile here. Now you just take your fire steel. Oop, without you just 
and that's all there is to it. Here are some other great Christmas stocking stuffer ideas. This is what I carry in my pocket for a it just uh, for my fire kit. It's nothing more than a little baggie with some um, cotton balls with gel wax on them, or you could use cotton balls with Vaseline on them, and a one-handed striker. And I'll just show you how convenient that is. That's why, and this is why I carry it. And I've got examples of other examples of one-handed strikers too that I carry depending on what style you like. This one is Strike a Spark Light. It comes with its own little t uh, tender quicks. They're waterproof. And this is a brass, a brass uh, striker. And this other one is an anodized aluminum one. They all work the same. And I'll just show you, I'll cut some of these uh, gel wax cotton balls in half because we don't need that much. You put it down, fluff up, get some cotton fluffed up, and just put it right down by it. That's how easy it is. And... These are just the same thing. This is a smaller one. This is a spark light. Same thing, you get the cotton exposed. Get the thing right by it. One, one strike. And another Exotech product is a Poly um, Striker XL. This is a ferro rod with a, a heavy duty plastic body that's got a built in um, holder for the you just expose some raw cotton and then remove the striker from the handle just that simple I also have two different styles of the world's best match case. O-ring sealed so it's so you don't have to worry about um, water intrusion. And I've just got some uh, stormproof matches in here. It's got, there's the striker right here for the stormproof matches. And if you have strike anywhere matches, that right there is just a piece of um, sandpaper. Here's the smaller version. And I've got some strike anywhere matches in this one too. Okay. And lastly, I've got the world's best lighter. I collect Zippo lighters. I love their design. But there's a couple of issues I have. One is um, their fluid evaporates. And the other thing is uh, you really can't tell how much you've got. So this one is sealed with an O-ring. And there's an O-ring seal where you fill it up back here. Right in there is where you fill it. So you got O-rings on both ends. And that was the only issue I ever had with a Zippo lighter is whenever I got mine out if I didn't keep after it it was empty this one you'll never have to worry about that ever fantastic lighter it's like well those are just a few of the stocking stuffers that I have on my website so uh, come on out there and check it out it's 
www.wildernessselfreliance.com and I'll put a link to it in the description box.